Good morning, welcome to We Repair. Um, so, we're back at it again. We have our nice trusty pink Dell Inspiron 1525 laptop. Um, so you saw me working on it last video. I did a screen lid and hinge replacement on it. And it's been lovely ever since. So in this one, we are gonna do a hard drive swap. Um, so at the moment, it's got a 320 gig Toshiba drive in here. Um, that is just one of the old style spinning discs that is incredibly slow um, and I have a slightly pre-loved um, SSD that came off of eBay. Normally I wouldn't worry about, I'm sorry, normally I would worry about having used drives, um, especially SSDs just because it takes a life down on them. Um, but as it's only for a little person, I'm not going to worry too much because it's just going to be used for a bit of web browsing and very basic stuff. Uh, so this is an 80 gig Intel SSD, it is what it says on the tin really, it just works. So let's flip this over, we'll get the drive out, swap in our, swap in our SSD and uh, I'll just walk you through the process of doing that. So we're only interested in this little corner down here, let me just zoom you in so you can see. So. The only bit we're interested in is this down here. This is our hard drive caddy. It's held in by two screws and then should just pull straight out. So we'll just undo those. So I've got two screws out and then the hard drive just slides straight out just like that. Um, so in here, as I say, 320 gig Toshiba drive really nothing special. To remove it from the caddy, I've got one screw on this side, one screw on this side, so we'll just quickly undo those. Um, my only top tip to you here is just pay attention to the orientation of the drive because um, you are going to have to put the other one back in exactly the same way, otherwise it won't line up. So um, just pay attention to the way these two connectors are. Um, so take that one out, grab our replacement, slide that one in, all the holes should line straight up and then you just pop your screws back in just like that and again just like that and then we slot this drive straight back in with a little bit of a wiggle it should go in there like that and then grab our two screws number one and number two. And that is our hard drive swapped out with an SSD. Um, so what I will do now, let me just zoom back out again. And what we will have to do now is reinstall Windows on this. Um, so easiest way to do it is from a USB drive. Um, I will put a link above to another video I've made about how you can download and build a Windows USB. Um, it's really easy. Uh, in, in, assess, in essence, you go to Win, uh, into Microsoft's website, go to the update page, you download a file, you plug your USB into the front of your current PC, um, you double click it and off you go. It will download all the files it needs and build you a ready-made Windows USB. Um, it, it will take, depending on your broadband, anywhere up to about an hour usually. Um, I've got particularly good broadband, so took me about 15 minutes. It's not a long thing at all. So let me just grab that um, and then I will let you know what to do next so we can get Windows reinstalled. Right, so I've got our power plugged in. I've got my memory stick. I have, in doing this little bit of a video, discovered that actually the keyboard on this laptop doesn't work properly, so we're gonna have to get that sorted as a separate issue. So in the meantime, I've got a USB keyboard plugged in on one side of me so I can just control this a little bit easier. So what we will do, we'll turn this on and we're going to have to boot from this memory stick. Um, now to do that, we're going to have to go into the BIOS and we're going to have to select it um, and move it to the top of the boot list so that we can actually boot from it. So I will do my best to try and show you this, but I'm not sure how well it will come out on camera. So let me just zoom you in a bit. So what I'm going to do, power on, keep tapping F2. And it will boot into the BIOS. And hopefully we'll get there in a second. 
Sometimes it takes a little bit of time just to get to that point. Okay, so now we're in the BIOS, what we're interested in doing is scrolling down until we hit boot sequence, which is like the fifth or sixth item down. Press enter, and that will take us into the right-hand screen where we can set the boot order. We want to select USB storage device. Press U, and we'll move it to the top of the list. And then what we'll do is press escape, and that will ask you if you want to save. And you just press the right arrow key and select save. Press escape again press the right arrow key and then save and exit. And that will then tell the system to reboot and boot from my memory stick. And then that's asking us now whether you want to do a 64 or 32-bit boot. So I'm going to say 64-bit. Now at this point I'm not going to bore you with the rest because um, you've watched me reinstall laptops hundreds of times. So I'll bring you back and just show you the finished product um, once this is all complete. Well there we are. I don't know how that well that's coming across because it's quite sunny here today um, and there's some quite bad glare on this screen. Um, but Windows is reinstalled. Uh, it's all working absolutely fine. Um, I do need to do a little bit of a follow-up because this, um, this keyboard is not right. Unfortunately the enter key does not work hence having to use the USB one. But in effect, that's it. Um, so we've replaced the hard drive, um, pop in, popped in an SSD, and it's running absolutely lovely now. So if you'd like the video, please drop me a like, um, subscribe to the channel, press the little bell icon to get future notifications, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.